All right, y'all got my PS Vita that my kids broke, which I uh, modded to. Luckily, I have one that's modded, and that one's, uh, they're messing with it now. Yes, I still trust them. Can you believe that? Uh, but this is one that the screen, like it turns on. Let me see if it actually turn on. There. So it turns on, but the screen, you can see the screen is not nothing. And I think it's because the screen is messed up, but I'm going to test it. So I bought this, and it's supposed to be a replacement screen for it. So looks like there's the little covers. Let's see. Let me pull this out. So it's actually a replacement screen that I'm going to be putting in here. And let's see, let me see if I can get that up real quick. There you go. So there it is, just a little replacement screen with all the cables in the back. And then I just got to replace it, and then hopefully, hopefully it comes on. If it comes on, then yeah, I saved it. This was like 35 bucks. So um, we'll see. I'm about to put it together right now, get it all taken care of, and I'll let you know if it pops up. All right, see you soon. up y'all i wanted to show y'all what i uh when i replaced the the ps vita here's the one right here as you can see i left the rings i forgot the rings when i put it back together but i wasn't opening that thing back up <laughs> but i forgot to pull the rings out uh on this one but this is how the replace this was the old one right here um as you can see it's kind of a little scratched up and it, the screen was bad on it and there's a little screen piece as you can see there so when you get through with all this, when you do all this, you have to actually take all the buttons off. You got to take every single piece that's inside of it. You got to take all that stuff off. And then you have to like scrape these little button pieces like the, uh, you know, the trigger buttons. You got to kind of like strip, scrape that off, pull it off. Same thing here. Pull it off. You got to unscrew all the, you know, everything here, the control pad, D-pad all that stuff and the analog sticks you got to take all that stuff out everything so basically this is everything man you take the, the motherboard all that stuff out of there right once you do that you lay it down make sure all the screws and everything are you know put aside so you figure out which ones it is then you put everything back in so you take this out you pull that off you pull the battery the back part off and then you pull that um uh, you know you pull this off and then you're done you take this part off and then you're done. So this again is the old one. It didn't work. As you can see, little scrapes and scratches in the screen and stuff. So I ordered this little piece out, which I ordered another one of the same thing. So it was the same. It was basically this piece that I ordered here. And there's the model number. I don't know if you have to see that, but there's the model number of it for the version that I had. And now, and they do give you, so they give you these, uh, um, you know, little covers for your thumbsticks. So they give you a bunch of those, and I got them on the, the other one that I replaced it with. So now, like I said, this one wasn't working at all. When you power it on, the light would show up, um, but the button, you know, the, the lights would show up. They show blue here, but nothing, like nothing be on the screen. So I replaced it. They do give you a protective screen. Here's the one that I replaced right here. So it has the protective, gives you the protective screen here you can put over after you're done. As you can see, this is it right here. I forgot the little silver things in. It still looks okay. So when you turn it on, and there you go, now I got my screen back. So this was the old one here. So I wanted to thank uh, um, Billy, Billy Wright. So Billy Wright, I appreciate you, man. He actually sent, my son wanted one of these for um, his, uh, his birthday and Billy Wright, I, I asked him and he was like, yeah, I got one, man. And I was going to buy it from him, but he actually went ahead and gave it to my son. So I wanted to thank Billy Wright. Appreciate it. Shout out to you, man. Uh, my son loves it and he's right here. So you can see him. Give me a second. Go ahead. Go ahead. Bend down a little bit. There you go. Say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so just wanted to thank you Billy Wright uh, for actually sending my son that um, and all like I said all I had to do was pay for shipping so again Billy Wright appreciate you man for doing that 
and that's that's it there uh, and that was my and this was the one that he sent him and he sent him with the um he sent it with him he sent it with the case like this and it even even had some games in it man it had like marvel versus capcom uh had all that stuff in there the call of duty was not here i got the marvel versus capcom in in mine <laughs> and i'll show you what mine looks like here in a minute uh but like i said i had to replace it and i wanted one and i didn't have if my stuff wasn't going to come in in time so um like i said billy wright i reached out to everybody and Billy Wright got with me and sent me this for him for his birthday so he can have it. So I really appreciate it. Again, Billy Wright, appreciate you, man. And then this, uh, so you can see, like I said, this was the old stuff. This was the old screen, and this was for this one here. I didn't have enough. It wasn't going to come in in enough time. So again, Billy Wright, appreciate it. And then, uh, so now this one works. So you can it all down. As you can see, it has a UMC versus all that. All that works. You know, and then you can play a game. Call of Duty's down here. Let me get hit on it. And everything, everything works now. So. And there you go there. So let's see what's going on. Like I said, this is the replacement one, so you can see that, I mean, all the stuff is there. Pops up. Capcom presents Marvel Comics. Okay, let me see if I can get in there real quick. I know some people don't like waiting. <laughs> I do like that protective screen they sent. It was like $35, y'all. I'll put the link down in the bottom. Let's see here. Oh, I need to... Let me get back out of there. I forget to get All right. I'm just going to go ahead real quick so y'all can see that. And I might have my son just play real quick. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick. Let me see if I can move that up. I should have picked real, but you know. Buttons, buttons all work. Just wanted to show y'all a little bit. <laughs> but that's it there, right? So you hit the P button, get up out of there. But that's it, man. It came up pretty good and everything's working. Help my son and them. See, that was the replacement one there. So I wanted to show y'all that. Then, let me turn this one on. As you can see, this one is the actual uh, modded PS uh, Vita. That's fine. So, yeah. And you probably still got it. There we go. And so this one. Let me go look. So this one has all the modded stuff on it where you can actually download the games so as you can see right here uh you know pkgj and when you click on that one you click on this right here and go into one. it and it says yeah you can't do anything on that but this is where all the list of all the games you can actually download 
So, just so you know. So I wanted to show you all that. But, again, Billy Wright, appreciate you, man, for sending my son that one. And everything else. If y'all need to see any more of this stuff right here, just let me know. I appreciate y'all coming to the channel. Peace. You want to do it with me? Peace.